So yeah, when I was playing that test uh, build or whatever, I just like met this dude and he was like, oh, are you going to be playing for the double gold thingy? And I was like, oh yeah, I might check out a little bit of it. And he's like, oh, okay, me and my buddy are going to speed run Devil's Roar Athena's, so if you want to hop on. I was like, yeah, sure. So then he invited me to hop on the day it started. I was like, all right, I'll do one maybe real quick. And we were making really good time, but there were a couple of red flags that just kind of made me think that they might not be too great of a crew. Like, they were playing three men on a galleon, and one of the dudes was just talking about how much he hated the brig and how he thought it was just a piece of shit ship. And he was like, oh, do you play on it any? I was like, yeah. I Fuck that guy. I was like, yeah, I play with the brig crew, like, pretty regularly, and I don't remember the last time we were sunk or anything. He didn't really respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were making really good time. We got the fucking Devil's Roar Athena chest, and uh, uh, we cycled the next one when we got it, just to, like, make better time, you know? And get started on the next one in case we were near any islands by the time, you know, we were going back to the outpost to sell the original one. And they would just send people off the boat, so I was going over to do one of the riddles. At this point, we had already been in one PvP encounter, and it was a big red flag just because of the way that they were handling it and how they weren't using wind to their advantage at all. Like, they just let a sloop catch up to us, and they were like, yeah, come, come at me, bro, blah, 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 and they were just, like, not all that good. And we came much closer to getting it stolen than we should have, really. Damn. <laughs> Like, instead of just sending one person off to try to board them and get them to leave us alone, they just kind of didn't use the wind at all, and they just let them come at their boat. And we sunk them, but it was it was not as smooth as it should have been, so that was one big red flag. And then, so eventually, uh, they're going back to the outpost with the Devil's Roar uh, chest, Athena chest, whatever, Ashen Athena, I guess. And, um... There's a brig chasing them. Like, we had already called it out, I had already let them know that it was a thing, they knew it was happening. And, uh, it was, like, at the outpost, like, shortly after they got there. I was like, do you want me to mermaid back? And he's like, no, this is, this is fine, we got this. I was like, okay. And I offered again, I was like, are you sure you don't want me to mermaid back? I must have offered at least, like, a good two or three times. Every time, they're like, no, we got this, it's fine. So, I'm trying to do the riddle, and the guy's like, oh, they're here. Oh, I'm, I'm taking fire. Oh, I'm dead. They sold it. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm just sitting there completely silent, and I leave the game, remove the guy from my friends list, and just be done and don't say anything to either of them, because <laughs> I was so pissed. Oh God, dude. I was like, I offered to come back, like, we knew that the brig was chasing us, there were so many ways that we could have avoided that happening, and no precautions were taken whatsoever. None. They were playing so recklessly the whole fucking time I was playing with them. Well, at least you have the solace of knowing that, like, it was taken from you, but it wasn't taken from you. It wasn't my fault at all. Yeah, not even a little bit. Like, yeah. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> so that's not the end of the story. Oh, no. That's not... That's, like, maybe half of the story. So then later, um, I was checking Discord to try and uh, look for another crew, make another attempt. And that's when I ended up with Ballistic Turtle and a couple of other dudes. I could pack a robo full of gunpowder barrel, hide it around the other side of the island, and then when they come around a dock, robo into them with the gunpowder. <laughs> you could. It sounds a lot riskier, honestly. Yeah, robo's pretty slow. They're going to be jumping off pretty quick with the chest, probably. You haven't yeah. seen me robo in. <laughs> Fair point. Exactly. Oh, we're gonna take a little Wait. bit of it. Just, we're gonna tap it a little bit. Love tap. <laughs> Where is the chest, actually? I got it in my hands. Alright. I'll run up a chat seven. And uh, things were looking real good. Like, I was real happy with it. Uh, not too long after I joined, an allied boat turned in uh, Ash and Athena chest. So I got credit for that, and that was really nice. And we were going to dig up ours. I had to go take a piss. And it was a three-boat alliance, so there was another one that was uh, going to be turning in a chest pretty soon. And by the time I got back from taking a piss, my crew was sounding like a little bit panicked and a little bit worried. I checked my quest wheel. Our chest had already been dug up, even though we were still on the way to the island. And they were like, yeah, the Allied boat dug it up. And I was just like, uh, what? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? The fuck? And we were getting real close, and uh, they were still just hanging out there. We get there, and we're like, so, uh, you found our chest, huh? And they were like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And we're just like, uh, what? Ballistic Turtle, he found the chest stashed in a bush. Like, they were trying to hide it from us. And, like, steal it, I guess. Um, Even though they could have just sailed away with it. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. They're going to look like they are turning in their chest, and, um, they do. 
which is nice. And uh, shortly after that, like they turn around from the outpost to uh, kind of come at us, and it looks like they're going to betray us and try to steal our chest. So they ram us with their galleon, and uh, everybody hops out there and starts fighting them, except for me. I stay right next to the chest, and I'm just taking pot shots with my sniper, like at the dudes, because they left the chest in the captain's cabin. My whole team dies except for me, and I'm in there with a chest, and then I get rushed by, like, the two or three dudes remaining from the initial fight, and our boat sinking the whole time nobody was repairing, so... They got that chest, and they took it back to Morrow's Peak, and they left the Alliance and turned it in. Damn, you had two of them taken? In a row, after never, ever having any Athena's chest stolen from me. Oh my god. That sucks. And then I proceeded to do, like... I don't know, like, seven Athena voyages or something, probably. And I felt real bad about it. Because <laughs> it sucked. And I hated it. Yeah. Yep. Damn. So that was how I got not one, but two Ash and Athena chests stolen from me. Damn. Yeah, he fucking betrayed in the Alliance. And that was the worst part, is that they took down their Alliance flag before they turned it in. That was, like, the biggest dick move ever. Like, you'd have to be a douche to do that shit after working together with another crew for so long. Obviously, it's fair. You can do it. It's in the game, but there's no incentive to do so, and it's just purely a dick move. Uh, that's a fucking tough loss. Yeah. It was more my fault with the second one, but I still feel like it wasn't entirely my fault with the way our uh, boat, like, direction was handled and stuff. How we were just able to be rammed and fucking stopped right there like that. Because it was looking shifty well before that. We could have just gone to a different outpost or something. That's one of the biggest reasons I wanted to, like, understand, like, how to be a helmsman and stuff like that. Is so I could just make sure that the boat is doing what it needs to do to, like, reduce chances of bullshit. Yeah. It's like, I want to know that I can grab that helmet any time and understand what I need to do. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that story hurts my soul. Yeah, at that point, that was around the point when I was thinking, you know what, maybe I kind of have to just grind out this Athena and do it tonight just to make sure it's not all, like, completely a shitty day for, for Sea of Thieves. So then I just fucking grinded all of it out. I sit up until, like, almost 7 a.m., which is something I don't like doing because it was getting light outside by the time I went to bed. Oh, this is probably going to put me to 10 right here. Nice. Yep. Congrats. Congrats. Thanks. Oof. <laughs> Anything past like five is like torture to me, but the crew that I was playing with, they were like, come on, stay for another. And then after that, I was going to be done, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait until that one fucking crew turns in their chest because they've been doing it for a long time. They sent us a message. They're like, we're almost done. And we were able to do an entire fucking next one like after that before they turned theirs in. And the funny thing about that was when I left, um... Because I took a break, like, I left, and then later on when I joined again, it was on the exact same server. It was just on a different galleon that they were allied with. Just, like, completely by accident. <laughs> oh, wow. It also made me feel better that, like, I did one solo the day before that, and I ran into zero problems. <laughs> So I was like, you know what, maybe I'm not, like, completely at fault here. Like, I feel like I can navigate these pretty well. It's just kind of a shitty placement sometimes with how things work out like that. How your crew handles things is everything. Yeah. There's only so much you can do as a single person. I did feel kind of bad <clears throat> about leaving uh, after that first time with that dude that I met on the uh, test build, like after they, because they were playing so recklessly, and there were a couple other things that they did that I just really didn't like, just like using autistic as like an insult, like like as a playful insult and stuff. I was like, that's not really cool. And I think I heard one of them call the other one a f or something. I was like, that's also not really cool, <laughs> like <laughs> to just do openly in front of people like that. <laughs> yeah. So after he sent me a message and stuff, and I saw that he sent me one later on, I was like, uh, I was like, I just didn't want to play anymore after uh, we lost the chest. You guys were making really risky calls and stuff, but it's no big deal. What did he say? Oh, he was like, hey man, what happened? Internet cut out or something? <laughs> that wasn't real, was it? 
It sure was. It totally didn't sound like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it sure fucking was. What what outpost are you at? <laughs> I'm not at one. I was oh. waiting for you to get on the set sail screen. Oh shit! I I, I I'll loaded in. Stand, stand, stand. I'll load in and see if we get the same server. So after I uh, <clears throat> hit Athena 10 and I was like sticking around waiting for that other crew to turn in their stuff just for some extra money, I was like helping them with their next Athena. I wasn't planning on like finishing it, but it ended up happening anyway just because of how long it took the other crew to turn in. I had like a really bad urge to fart and I was like, you know what, I've never done this before with a random crew. So I, <laughs> I just uh, gave them a little present and... <laughs> It was dead silent, and nobody fucking said anything about it. Really? <laughs> yeah. If you guys just helped us with this one island, we'd literally be on our way to being done. But you don't have to. If you guys want to opt to stay on the ship. What's here? Oh no, I was going to help you guys. <laughs> <laughs> It was so hard to not just fucking start busting, <laughs> just like busting up laughing like immediately after. <laughs> Nobody mm -hmm. said anything. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Were they able to see you to tell that it was you or? I don't know. If one of them had like Discord open on another monitor or something, maybe. <laughs> I still want to go board a ship and, like, rip ass into the <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is a pirate goal of mine. Actually, I did do it once. Really? But the guy didn't say or do anything, really. I gotta wait until you get one of those hot mic crews. Yeah, I want to do one and, like, hear their reaction for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he said he was in Xbox party chat, though, when it happened, because I did end up talking to the guy, like, later on. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm at Sanctuary. <laughs>